Today we're at Jasper Pulaski Fish and Wildlife Refuge, uh, which is managed by the state of Indiana. It is former agricultural area, but now it's a refuge and it's a very popular spot for migrating sandhill cranes and that's what we're looking for today. This time of year they're on their fall migration and this area is where they congregate uh, at night and up to 20,000 individual birds here in, in mid-November and through December. Most of these birds will probably be in Florida, but you're kind of across the southeast. But now we're seeing more and more climate change is likely contributing to this. These birds are over, some of them are overwintering in the Midwest. So you'll even have some birds stay here uh, for the winter if they can make do. Sandhill cranes are kind of an ancient bird. They've been here for millions of years, actually, breeding in the United States. And they're actually the most numerous of all the cranes in the world. They are about four to five feet tall and their favorite food is digging up seeds in the uh, wetlands and open grasslands. They form unique family bonds. They mate for life, pair for life, uh, kind of long-lived and slow to reproduce, usually just raising one chick a year. It can remind you of a social family unit like, a, like people, right? And they're all out in the day on their own in those groups, and then they're coming back to, to the massive population, kind of like a city, right? Sandhill cranes are increasing in population across most of their populations. They're doing very well. That's not That hasn't historically been the case because it is a species that was overhunted. And um, I believe in Wisconsin, they had only a few dozen pairs left at one point. So there was a reintroduction process and we've seen them rebound. When bird populations are doing well, it's a sign of a healthy environment. And a lot of bad news about wildlife and birds in particular over the last few months have come out or we've learned that three billion birds have basically been lost over the last 30 years total. But this is a species that is a conservation success story. These birds have been around for two million years, right? So it's special and worth, worth conserving. And I think you feel that when you're here with them. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.